Imagine diving into the deep blue sea where mysterious creatures reside. What occurs when humans meet sharks, the ocean's most famous hunters? Some stories may be scary while others are surprising, yet all will leave an unforgettable mark. Join us as we uncover tales of encounters between humans and sharks. Not long ago, three friends named Jack Turner, Sam Johnson, and Leo Clark embarked on an epic fishing expedition. These coastal residents of Massachusetts, who had a great love for fishing, decided one sunny morning in 2011 to try deep-sea fishing. Inspired by tales of large fish caught in distant waters, they sought their adventurous catch. They found a fishing boat that was perfect for them and launched it out into the sea where the sun shone bright and the waters were as clear as glass. Talking and laughing together, they shared memories from past fishing trips as well as hopes and plans of what fish they hoped to catch today. After sailing far from shore and into waters where the green turned to deep blue, they started their fishing expedition. They cast their lines into the waters, hoping for an incredible catch. Hours passed without much action except a small fish that didn't quite fit what they had imagined in this adventure. Yet they didn't give up hope, enjoying both sea air and the excitement of waiting. At first it seemed unreal, but suddenly a huge shadow appeared beneath their boat. Before anyone could guess what it could be, out jumped a 23-foot great white shark. Like something out of a fantasy tale, this shark crashed onto their boat violently, shaking it violently. Jack shouted urgently as their boat started taking on water, aware that they had limited time. Their vessel was sinking quickly. At the same time, what had once been their ally turned into their adversary, with giant sharks circling and waiting. Fear gripped their hearts, yet they knew they needed to act quickly. Sam shouted with firm conviction, despite his alarm, refusing to give up. To lighten the load and stop the sinking, they began throwing overboard items they found heavy. At the same time, Leo attempted to patch up any leakage he found using whatever means possible, though only as a temporary solution. As the sun began to set, their situation worsened even further. Instead of appreciating its beauty, they found themselves trapped in an endless nightmare. Their surroundings turned darker, the waves crashed around them, and only distant seabirds called. Leo exclaimed, trying to sound brave, that they must stay together and remain calm. They decided that each member would take turns watching out for sharks and bailing water from the boat. Their fishing trip had turned into a struggle for survival. While they had intended to catch big fish, now they were in mortal peril due to an unpredictable shark lurking below, waiting to strike at any chance it got. Yet they didn't lose hope. Together, they knew that they could overcome any challenge presented. As night fell and stars emerged, the sea calmed somewhat, but their struggle remained. Their small boat barely floated amidst rising waters as they wondered what morning would bring. Their adventure had taken an unexpected turn that they never could have predicted. As they watched the night pass, they realized this would become one they would always remember. An unforgettable story that put friendship and courage to the test as the danger posed itself. They persevered until the sun came out over the horizon. As the dawn broke, Jack, Sam, and Leo felt renewed hope. Their night had been difficult, with sharks making several close passes by their boat. But somehow they managed to keep it afloat, knowing they weren't completely out of danger yet worried them. But seeing the sunrise gave them renewed optimism. Their boat had taken some damage, and much of what they had brought had been lost overboard, yet all three occupants remained alive. While it appeared that the shark had vanished into the night, they knew it still lurked nearby in deeper waters, waiting to strike again at any opportunity. They quickly formed a plan for returning to shore. Still, their boat had barely any movement due to damage from the shark attack rendering it virtually unusable for sailing purposes. So they took turns paddling with whatever tools could serve as oars available, knowing it would be an exhausting journey back, but committed to seeing it through no matter what obstacles may lie in their way. As they paddled along, they discussed what they would do once back on land. Jack joked about never deep sea fishing again, but knew this experience had changed them, confronting their fears head on and working together to overcome them. It had become more than just fishing. It had become a testament to survival and friendship between friends. Now, with calmer waters, progress was more straightforward for them. They could see land in the distance, 
a sight which brought great relief and determination as they paddled with all their might towards a safe destination on land. After what felt like an eternity, they eventually reached the shore, exhausted, hungry, thirsty, but alive. Stepping onto the beach, they looked back towards the sea with memories of the monstrous shark that had transformed their adventure into one they would long forget. They realized their lives would never be the same after this experience. Having come face to face with one of nature's fiercest predators and survived to tell about it, they decided to share their story as a warning for others about its perils. In the following days, their story made headlines, captivating people with their remarkable resilience against all odds. Friends became closer than ever due to this shared ordeal that tested both courage and will to survive. The great white shark that had attacked their boat disappeared from those waters. Some believe it has moved onto other seas, while others think it still lurks beneath Cape Cod waves, serving as a reminder of nature's unpredictable and often dangerous beauty. Jack, Sam, and Leo returned home, forever changed by their deep-sea fishing expedition. At the same time, they expected an adventure-filled experience to emerge from this experience. Instead, a remarkable tale of survival, friendship, and the human spirit would unfold over time, serving as an inspirational testament to what can be accomplished when united together against common challenges. In recent memory, there was a courageous woman named Rachel Adams. She loved sailing more than anything and had big aspirations of sailing across the Atlantic Ocean on her own from the Bahamas to the Canary Islands. An ambitious undertaking even experienced sailors often found difficult. One morning in 2001, Rachel began her voyage aboard the Sea Whisperer with great anticipation. Everything on board had been carefully considered. Food, water, and all necessary tools had been packed safely away. As she waved off to shore with mixed emotions of anticipation and nervousness behind her, she felt prepared for what lay ahead, ready for adventure and ready to embark. Rachel enjoyed an idyllic start. The sky was blue, the sea calm, and Rachel felt free and happy as she navigated across this vast ocean. She saw dolphins and flying fish with sunsets that rivaled any she had witnessed before. At night, stars filled the night sky, guiding her path homeward. But one day, everything changed. Rachel noticed dark clouds gathering overhead and waves becoming rough in the ocean. Although stormy conditions weren't new to her, Rachel prepared her yacht so it would remain safe in case there were any stormy conditions ahead. This time, though, it wasn't just weather she had to worry about. Amidst the growing waves, Rachel caught sight of a massive shape in the water, a formidable tiger shark. The shark, with its cold, calculating eyes, began circling her yacht, a stark reminder of the intelligence and danger these predators possessed. Rachel was all too aware of the reputation tiger sharks had for being both smart and dangerous, particularly when provoked or threatened. The situation escalated as the shark, seemingly undeterred by the presence of the yacht, launched a sudden and aggressive attack. With astonishing force, it rammed into the vessel, its powerful jaws and sheer mass causing significant damage. This unexpected assault not only intensified the peril Rachel was already in, but also highlighted the urgent need for her to address the breach in the boat's hull to prevent it from taking on more water and potentially sinking. Rachel found herself not only fighting the storm, but also this relentless shark. Rachel's communication tools stopped working, leaving her without help available to call on. Although feeling alone and afraid, Rachel reminded herself she was strong and smart and refused to surrender without a fight. Rachel developed a plan. She needed to prevent the yacht from sinking and find ways to keep away the shark, using buckets to drain off excess water from within the vessel while finding some temporary repairs for its hull, all while the shark waited, ready to strike at any moment. As night fell, Rachel found herself exhausted but determined not to give up. She knew she must survive until morning when there might be more time and opportunity to figure out a way out from under the shark's threat. Although stars were hidden behind clouds and the sea was angry, Rachel's spirit remained undamaged. She thought back on why she began this journey, not just crossing the ocean, but proving that she could conquer her fears as well as this shark and storm were part of her story. Determined to make this one that would end in triumphant survival for herself and those close to her. Rachel had spent the night fighting to remain alive, keeping the water at bay and watching for signs of the shark. She prayed that dawn would bring new ideas, a way out from under this nightmare. 
Rachel Adams felt renewed hope when the first rays of sunlight broke through the dark clouds and revealed themselves, giving her renewed strength after an exhausting night fighting against the waves and being threatened by the tiger shark. Although exhausted from her battle to stay afloat and still alive with her yacht, the Sea Whisperer. While the storm had passed and left calm waters behind it, still lurking below were signs of danger from beyond. Rachel knew there would always be danger just below the surface. That shark lurked silently behind the waves, ready to resurface at any moment, making Rachel nervous. Rachel knew she couldn't relax her guard. The shark had damaged her yacht, leaving it without communication systems to reach for help between the Bahamas and Canary Islands in the vast Atlantic Ocean. But Rachel wasn't one to give up easily. Resourcefulness had always been one of her hallmarks, so now, more than ever, she needed all her skills for survival. Rachel remembered reading about sharks losing interest if they could not get what they desired. Hence, Rachel decided to make the yacht less appealing to sharks by gathering any spare material, pieces of metal, or other hard objects she could find, banging them together to create noise, and hopefully dissuade them from approaching. As she worked through the day, Rachel diligently repaired the yacht as best she could, using waterproof sealant to temporarily patch any leaks in it and rigging a makeshift sail from spare fabric as shark attacks had severely damaged its original sail. All this to ensure her survival. Rachel noticed something was different when the sun reached its highest point. The shark, who had been her constant companion for months now, suddenly disappeared without explanation. Though Rachel wasn't entirely certain why he hadn't returned yet, she took advantage of this moment to rest her body while her spirit remained undiminished. Rachel knew time was of the essence, so she quickly set sail toward the Canary Islands using stars and her compass as guides. Without communication systems in place, she couldn't alert anyone of her situation. Still, she hoped that either another vessel or landmass might help her detect it. Rachel continued on her voyage slowly but steadily conserving food and water as best as she could to last until safety could be reached. Although the shark never reappeared, its memory lingered with her. It kept her vigilant at all times to defend both herself and her yacht against possible attacks. After what seemed like an eternity at sea, Rachel finally saw land. It was the Canary Islands as planned. Rachel had done it. She had crossed the Atlantic Ocean alone while encountering a tiger shark, and she survived. When she docked at her marina, people rushed over to help her, impressed by her story of survival and courage. Rachel had endured an ordeal that was far greater than she could ever have anticipated, yet she emerged victorious from it all. Her story became known far and wide, inspiring others with its courage and resolve. Rachel realized after this journey was complete that it had altered both herself and the world forever, proving with resourcefulness that even the toughest challenges could be met head-on and overcome with persistence and wisdom. Rachel felt a profound sense of peace as she stood firmly on solid ground, looking back across the Atlantic Ocean. Not only had she conquered its vast waters, but more importantly had also overcome herself. Her voyage had served as proof that each individual possesses within themselves the strength necessary to face unknown situations with bravery and emerge stronger than before. Jake Carter had always loved the sea and all it contained. Being a marine photographer meant that Jake took pictures of fish, corals, and various sea life as part of his profession. One sunny day, Jake decided to make a special trip to the Bahamas so he could capture its breathtaking underwater world and document its beauty for his job. Jake was extremely thrilled. With camera in hand and anticipation building, Jake couldn't wait to dive into the clear blue water of the Bahamas. This destination was well known for its breathtaking reefs and amazing fauna living there. And Jake hoped he might witness colorful fish, playful dolphins, or perhaps even an unexpected sea turtle. Jake donned his diving gear, consisting of a mask, a tank of air so he could breathe underwater, and flippers to assist with swimming. Once in the water, Jake discovered an underwater world more stunning than any he had imagined. Bright corals of various shapes and sizes were scattered all across his field of vision. Schools of fish of multiple colors darted about in schools around him. It felt as if Jake were transported into another realm, one with peace and silence all around him. Jake began taking photos, capturing the beauty of the sea with his camera. Everything was going as planned until Jake noticed an odd shadow moving in the distance. 
At first, he thought it might be something big like a fish or dolphin. As it got closer, he realized it was actually a shark, an enormous hammerhead. Jake knew a lot about sea animals, including hammerhead sharks. Most hammerhead sharks were not dangerous to people. Yet this particular one seemed different as it kept watching Jake and moving closer. Jake tried his best to remain calm. Panicking would only serve to increase its threats. Instead, he remembered what he had learned about sharks from experience. Keep eye contact, stay still, and do not act like prey. But the shark would not retreat. Instead, it circled closer and closer until Jake found himself thinking quickly about ways to return safely to his boat. With an array of caves and tunnels within the reef surrounding him, Jake began to consider the possibility of using its sheltering properties as cover while making his journey back without alerting any sharks. Jake decided to move slowly, using coral as cover. He made his way through tunnels and around large blocks of coral, while keeping an eye on the shark, who seemed aware of his plan, keeping up with him as they followed. Jake found a part of the reef that was highly intricate, offering plenty of concealing places. He thought this was his chance. If he could navigate his way through it successfully, he could lose the shark and find his way back to his boat. He took a deep breath and thrust forward, weaving through the coral. A shark quickly closed in behind him, but Jake was determined. This was no game. Clear blue water had become a maze filled with hidden dangers and games of hide-and-seek. As Jake progressed through the reef, he realized it would be more challenging than anticipated. The shark was determined and treacherous, yet Jake refused to give up. Using all his knowledge and abilities, he must outwit its hunter in order to survive. Jake tried everything he knew to stay one step ahead of the hammerhead shark and stay that way. He wondered whether or not he'd make it back to his boat. One thing was clear, however, he wouldn't give up trying. As Jake Carter navigated his way through the underwater maze of the Bahamian Reef, his lungs burned with effort as he dodged around every turn and attempted to remain still. A hammerhead shark with its distinctive head proved a formidable foe, its uncanny intelligence being enough for it to mirror every move with terrifying precision. Jake remembered reading that hammerhead sharks use their wide heads to detect electrical signals emitted by prey. And this knowledge made him acutely aware that he wasn't just an observer in this vast blue expanse. Rather, he was the target. Yet even in spite of his fearful feelings, he realized it would take smarts, not speed, to survive this situation. Jake knew this could be his best chance at outwitting the shark. Its complexity provided an advantage over him as an agile swimmer. Jake moved cautiously carefully conserving the air that remained. In tight spaces, he used his camera as a distraction tool by tapping it against rocks to send vibrations through the water and hopefully disorient any shark that came near. Jake could feel their presence just beyond his field of vision but could never actually see one directly. Once again, an unthinkable event took place. As Jake squeezed through a narrow gap between two corals, he found himself in a small clearing surrounded by a protective reef. Meanwhile, due to either sheer luck or relentless pursuit, the shark made its way onto the other side of the clearing, and they stood face to face, only yards apart from being predator and prey. Jake felt his heart beating faster as he stared into the eyes of a shark, knowing this could be his only opportunity. Recalling how divers use a technique called making oneself big, making direct eye contact, and, if necessary, pushing away sensitive areas on a shark's nose or gills to keep curious sharks at bay, Jake quickly prepared himself, standing ready with hands stretched out towards his attacker. At that moment, however, an unexpected relief arrived in the form of a group of dolphins that burst into the clearing. Playfully yet protective of their realm, this playful yet protective marine life circled Jake before turning their attention back onto the hammerhead shark who hesitated before taking flight at once with its prey distracted. Jake took advantage of this momentary distraction and raced toward the surface as quickly as his arms would allow. Jake gasped for air as soon as he reached the surface. Never was he more grateful to see daylight. Almost instinctively, he quickly located his boat and used what strength was left of his to climb aboard it with ease, half expecting the hammerhead shark to lash out again from where it had come. Instead, it had vanished into its waters of origin. Once Jake had returned home, word quickly spread among locals and then the world about his journey. His images of Bahamian reef life gained new depth through his account of survival. At the same time, Jake had intended to capture its beauty through photography. 
Instead, they became the source of much horror for others to endure. Jake came away from this encounter with an immense respect for the sea and its inhabitants, especially sharks. Though Jake would return to its waters once more, its call proved irresistible. Still, he would always remember the day when he gazed into a shark's eye without being eaten as a reminder of its great power and of how fragile this marine world could be. Emily Harris was an adventurous marine biologist who found great peace in exploring the Mariana Trench, one of the deepest parts of the ocean, on an important mission, learning more about its creatures living deep below. For this endeavor, she used a submersible vehicle designed specifically to reach such depths. One day, as Emily explored the dark depths, something extraordinary occurred. As she collected samples near the ocean floor and marveled at all of its inhabitants, her dreams came true as she witnessed life unfold before her in this most hidden corner of Earth. Emily was stunned to find herself suddenly surrounded by a large group of deep-sea sharks. They were known for living in extreme darkness and pressure of the deep ocean. Emily had never seen so many all at once. Their eyes began glowing brightly under dim lighting from the submersible vehicle. Emily tried her best to remain calm. While she knew a great deal about sharks and that they tended to be more curious than aggressive, Emily realized her submersible wasn't designed to withstand sustained attacks from such powerful animals. Emily recognized she was in imminent danger and began avoiding shark attacks as quickly as she could. Emily noticed her oxygen levels dropping rapidly. Unfortunately, the submersible only provided sufficient supply to cover its mission, not for situations such as this one. With sharks blocking her way back up to the surface quickly, Emily needed to think fast as immediate return seemed unlikely. Emily examined her maps and instruments carefully. She needed a plan to evade a swarm of sharks and reach the surface before her oxygen ran out. Emily's heart raced as she searched the nearby deep sea canyon for an exit route through which to outwit them. As Emily navigated her submersible in search of an escape route, she remembered why she became a marine biologist. Her love for the ocean and its mysteries had always inspired her, giving her courage in dangerous situations like this one. Determined to overcome it all and share her discoveries about its depths with everyone around her, Emily knew she must stay strong to save both herself and those awaiting rescue from danger. Emily made a decision, hoping her knowledge and quick thinking would be enough to take her back up to the surface and escape shark attacks. With only breath left for her, Emily prepared to make a move, hoping her knowledge would bring her safety. As Emily Harris's oxygen supply was quickly running low and sharks continued to surround her submersible, she realized it was time to act swiftly. She remembered a narrow passage on a map of the trench near where she currently was. While this could pose risks, its narrow width meant only enough room for one submersible at a time would fit through it, but it could provide the only hope of escape from sharks. Emily piloted her submersible towards the passage, her heart thumping with anticipation. Sharks followed, their dark shapes looming large in the dim light. When approaching, Emily carefully navigated its tight confines. However, there were walls close enough for contact to prevent passage. Still, she managed to maneuver her submersible through without incident. Once she reached the other side, Emily noticed the sharks no longer followed her. Perhaps the narrow passage had dissuaded them. Or maybe they'd lost interest altogether. Either way, Emily was safe for now. Although not entirely unsusceptible to danger, her oxygen levels had become dangerously low. Emily pushed her submersible to its limit, moving as quickly toward the surface as she could. She monitored her oxygen consumption closely. Just before her oxygen ran out, Emily saw a faint glow of sunlight above her. It meant she had made it. With one last surge of power, Emily's submersible broke through the water's surface, and Emily breathed deeply. Relief filled her lungs. Back on her research ship, Emily contemplated her ordeal and its aftermath. She had faced her deepest fears and overcame them all. Meeting sharks in Mariana Trench served as a stark reminder of its vast power while reinforcing Emily's resolve to explore and protect its depths. Though terrifying at times, Emily's adventure represented courage and perseverance that would live with her forever. Thailand's Andaman Sea was home to an adventurous man named Alex Thompson who loved exploring its waters more than anything. Alex was an expert freediver, diving without using an air tank, holding his breath instead, into its depths. 
One sunny afternoon, he decided to discover an isolated coral reef known for its breathtaking beauty and mysterious underwater caves. Alex had been diving for years, yet the thrill of discovery never seemed to tire him. After gathering his gear and taking a deep breath, he plunged into the clear, warm waters of the Andaman Sea. As he dove deeper, the vivid coral colors and bustling marine life mesmerized him. Fish of various sizes darted around him freely as he felt at peace underwater. After searching for some time, Alex finally located the entrance to the cave system he had heard so much about. With excitement rising rapidly in his veins as he passed through its opening, his heart raced with anticipation as light from above faded as cool shadowy surroundings filled up his vision. It felt like entering another world altogether, with strange rock formations and beams of light cutting through the darkness like coming home. Alex was very mindful about staying on course and remembering his journey back. Although free diving in caves could be potentially hazardous, he felt confident with his skills. Moving through the caves, he marveled at their beauty while completely immersed in the moment. Alex was shocked to encounter something unexpected. Just after turning the corner, he saw a massive nurse shark blocking his only exit route. Nurse sharks are typically calm, but this particular specimen seemed restless. Alex stopped in fear before realizing he needed to stay composed so as to think rationally and plan his response effectively. Alex watched for some movement from the shark, but nothing came. Looking down, Alex realized his oxygen supply was running low. Freedivers can only hold their breath for so long, and Alex knew it would soon run out if he did nothing quickly. Alex was familiar with sharks. They're typically curious, yet not aggressive, so Alex thought maybe he could gently coax this one into moving. Unfortunately, as he approached, it stayed still, its eyes on him closely watching. Alex knew it wouldn't do to risk startling it or making any moves that might frighten or upset it further. Feeling overwhelmed, Alex took in his surroundings. The cave, once a symbol of beauty and adventure, now felt more like a confining prison. In this moment of solitude, his thoughts turned to his loved ones and the sea that had always been a source of joy and wonder for him. The stark realization dawned on him that this challenging situation might mark the end of his current adventure. This reflection led to a sudden epiphany about the true essence of his passion for freediving. It was never just about the thrill of exploring the unknown depths. It was also about confronting his deepest fears. Through the art of freediving, Alex had learned to face these fears directly, not just to overcome them, but to emerge stronger and more resilient. This realization rekindled his spirit, reminding him of the inner strength that freediving had instilled in him. Alex knew time was quickly running out and oxygen reserves dwindling, so it was vital for his survival that he found another route out of the cave or around the shark. His survival depended on it. Before taking action, he took a moment to gather himself together before confronting this challenge head-on. Alex Thompson faced the enormous nurse shark with determination as time ticked away and his oxygen supply ran critically low. Time was running out quickly. Decisions needed to be made soon as only this seemingly non-moving shark stood between him and freedom in open sea waters. Alex was intrigued by stories of freedivers using careful movements and signals to communicate with marine life, believing in their connection between humans and ocean creatures, but now, more than ever, trusting in it slowly extending his hand towards the shark, not in an attempt to touch it, but just as an act of showmanship to demonstrate he meant no harm. Alex made sure no contact was made between them. Hence, the shark knew there would be no threat from his approach. Alex was startled to find that the shark had taken notice of his movements, watching every step he took with a keen gaze. With deep breathing and making a gentle pushing motion with his hands that mimicked water flow, to his amazement, the shark moved just enough for an opening in its path, creating just enough room for a passageway between its jaws for Alex to push against with respect for their home environment. Alex allowed ample time before giving it space, showing respect and admiration for each species' home environment. Once his passageway was clear, Alex recognized this was his chance to strike. As he approached, he slowly passed nearer the shark without startling it. While doing so, he marveled at its grace and power as it reminded him of nature's wonder and the intricate balance of the underwater environment. Alex emerged from the cave's mouth to see the light of the surface shining down, his lungs gasping for air as he kicked upwards to break through into the open sea and find safety. Finally making it, he gasped for air as the sun warmed his face, 
He had made it. He was safe. Alex floated peacefully through the water, gazing back at the cave and seeing its shadow. His feelings of gratitude were profound, not just for surviving, but for learning something very valuable about oceanic environments, that they held immense beauty, but demanded respect and understanding from human visitors. Alex later shared his tale with others, speaking of the stunning coral reef, exploring new depths and finally meeting his nurse shark friend. This inspiring account became a testimony to courage, nature preservation, and the profound, sometimes unsaid, relationship between humans and ocean environments. As time passed, Alex found himself drawn back into freediving, relishing both its freedom and challenge. With each dive came an increased awareness of ocean life. Each dive felt like an honor that allowed him to discover not just new depths in his diving, but also himself, and explore inner areas like courage and kindness. Alex found great solace in exploring the Andaman Sea with its clear waters and rich marine life. He became more fascinated with every dive he took beneath its waves. After confronting his deepest fears in its depths, he had come out as not just a survivor, but as an advocate of the underwater world. Mia Green was an adventurous spirit who eagerly explored her surroundings in the Maldives. On a beautiful morning in April, she decided to kayak over its sparkling waters, eager to discover vibrant coral reefs. When Mia paddled away from shore, she felt an immense rush of joy as her spirit was free from discovery. Mia marveled as she paddled her kayak over clear blue waters. Schools of colorful fish darted around beneath while coral created an underwater garden. It was everything Mia could ever ask for and more. But her peaceful dream adventure took an unexpected turn when shadows moved beneath her kayak. Reef sharks were known for being harmless, yet their sudden interest in numbers could be intimidating. When Mia took out her kayak for an early morning paddle, she was startled when several reef sharks suddenly found it intriguing. They began swimming toward it with curiosity and grace, giving Mia cause for alarm. Reef sharks could often be found close to humans, but never more so than now. Mia's kayak wobbled dangerously before it suddenly capsized and sent her plunging into the cool ocean. It took Mia by surprise as the cold shock water took away her breath as she surfaced, gasping for air. Now stranded with no kayak on hand and curious sharks surrounding them, she was helpless to protect herself against further disaster. Mia struggled with panic as the hours passed. Recalling safety tips learned earlier, such as remaining still, conserving energy, and staying afloat, she struggled to remain calm as the minutes ticked by with no way back and her kayak seemingly unreachable. Mia found herself facing an uncertain and ever more dire outcome of her situation. Mia struggled to remain calm as sharks circled, their black eyes watching her closely. Panic could only worsen her situation further as she trod in water, trying to stay afloat and watch for predators. She finally understood the gravity of her situation, alone and trapped in the middle of an ocean with sharks as her only allies. This moment would test both her inner strength and resilience as an individual. Mia mustered her courage and began working to get right back to her kayak, an almost impossible task in her current condition. Still, she knew it was her only chance to escape from the water and away from sharks circling it. Every move she made was calculated. Every effort concentrated towards survival. As the sun continued its journey across the sky, Mia found herself caught between its beauty and her difficult situation. A battle of wills ensued between Mia's determined attempts at remaining calm against the unpredictable nature of sea life and its inhabitants. Mia floated among reef sharks as her mind raced with possibilities. Mia had long used her overturned kayak as her lifeline so her immediate goal was to right it without alarming the sharks. Tapping into an unknown reservoir of calm she drew upon. Mia started moving towards it slowly but deliberately with movements tailored specifically to avoid making any waves or drawing attention to herself from them. The sharks' curiosity kept them circling through the water near Mia like water skimmers, their sleek bodies gliding with ease across its surface. She reached her kayak, her heart pounding hard in her chest, before taking a moment to compose herself. Flipping back the kayak would require not only physical strength, but patience and precision. Mia took a deep breath before positioning herself at the side of her kayak and employing techniques she had learned, but had never imagined applying in such an urgent situation. Pushing down on one side, 
Mia tried using bodyweight leverage to turn over the kayak but failed miserably. Nevertheless, she prepared herself for another attempt as time rapidly ticked away in the water. Mia made another attempt, this time propelled by adrenaline. Her kayak started turning and gradually, after pushing harder, it finally flipped upright on its own, bobbing on top of the water's surface. A wave of relief came over her, but she knew that there was still no guarantee as sharks still circled closely, closely monitoring Mia. Mia faced the daunting task of getting back into her kayak without capsizing or being eaten by sharks, taking time to consider her strategy before approaching from behind it to minimize the risks of capsizing again. After carefully considering all possible approaches and pulling herself slowly up onto it using slow and controlled movements, her muscles protesting due to all that effort in the water, she successfully returned herself to it. Mia took a deep breath as she assessed her situation. The shore was still distant and sharks seemed intent on attacking. Now that she had secured herself aboard her boat, however, Mia realized she had an advantage against them and searched the water for her paddle, only to discover it had likely vanished during all the chaos. Mia struggled not to give in to despair, searching the kayak for anything she could use to paddle. Her hands found an old waterproof gear bag piece, not ideal but would do in an emergency which allowed her to swim with all her strength toward shore safety. With each stroke coming from fear mixed with hope, she forced forward in pursuit of safety. As she paddled, Mia noticed the sharks scattering, their interest waning as she moved further from their territory. Mia felt the sun beating down on her and felt her muscles tighten up as the distance began to shrink with each stroke, taking her one step closer to safety. Mia had finally returned. Exhausted from her journey, Mia collapsed onto the beach to rest her tired body and mind. Yet as she lay there taking in air, she felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude towards the ocean and all its creatures. Mia's journey had begun as an attempt to seek thrills, yet it quickly transformed into an invaluable lesson on survival, resilience, and the perseverance of the human spirit. Mia knew this experience would remain with her for life as an everlasting reminder of both its beauty and dangers in nature. Mia realized as she gazed back upon the ocean in its peaceful late afternoon glow that her adventure wasn't simply about outwitting sharks and sea life. Rather, it had been an inward journey into herself, one that had brought her face to face with uncertainty and forced her out of her comfort zone, leaving her forever changed by experience.